What's up guys, Nick Noke here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we're talking about which pads I think are the best for riding bikes. All right, so let's get into it. First things first, first I throw on my compression pants, then I get my ankle braces on, throw on some hip pads, knee pads, shin pads, jeans up on over that, and we are ready to go. All right, first let's start with the ankle braces. So these ankle braces right here, I've had for probably five years, I think I got them in 2015. They're great, they're not like space brace. I know everyone's running space brace. Those ones are probably pretty good too. These ones are actually Shock Doctor. These ones you can get at like Dick's Sporting Goods. I think they're like 50 bucks per one. But I've used them forever. You can tie them real tight, however tight you want. They definitely, you know, because you have to lace them every time, they don't, uh, they're not that quick. But I love them, been using them for a long time. So they're Shock Doctor. I don't know what the exact model, The they're 849. Shock Doctor 849. So uh, yeah, those are the ankle braces that I wear. All right, so now let's move on to the hip pads. All right, so these are the Slytech hip pads. These are made by Shred. Shred Optics is a company that I ride for. If you stay tuned to the end of this video, I will give you guys a discount code in order to buy stuff for a discount. Also, it's probably gonna be in the description, so you could just stop now and go buy stuff. That's fine. Anyways, it's got the tailbone pad in here. You got the, the side hip. You have obviously the other side hip and then you've got a chamois. So if you wanted to use these for like road biking, you could. What I like about all of Shred's pads is that they have this no shock material and it's in their shin, elbow, knee and hip pads. It's the same material and everything. And it's the soft, really flexible padding. But when you hit it, it gets really hard. So you can have this ultra thin pad that'll protect even like the gnarliest of pedal bite. Obviously if you're pedal biting your hips, that's probably not good. All right, moving on, knee pads. These are shred knee pads. These are the no shock heavy duty knee pads. I also have the enduro knee pads, which are a little slimmer if you wanted to put if you wanted to wear even tighter pants, you could wear the enduro knee pads, but these are the heavy duty ones. I've been running these pads. Um, I think this is my second pair because they used to say Slytech, now they say Shred. Otherwise, around the same pad, I've run the same pads for almost since like 2015. But these, super nice because they have side pads. Like I don't know, hopefully this doesn't focus, but there's side pads right here on each side and you know, that only not only protects the side of your knee, but when it's strapped in, it also just makes your knee feel like really solid and in place. Again, it's got that, that no shock technology in there. So when you hit it, it gets really hard. And then you have, have this little pad down here that extends down to the shin. So when you're riding downhill bikes and you don't want to wear a full shin pad, this will get pretty much like halfway down your shin, which is really nice. And so uh, when I wear a shin pad, it actually overlaps a bit, which double shin protection never hurt anybody. It's got the Velcro strap on top and on bottom. And then this really nice, like almost like a rubber, like a neoprene kind of thing in the back. But anyways, these don't slide ever. Obviously they are under really tight pants of mine, but even when I ride downhill bikes, these things do not slide. So that, uh, that's really cool. All right. Shin pads. Unfortunately, Shred has discontinued these. They don't make them anymore. I have a couple pairs for my personal use, but unfortunately they don't actually carry these on their website. I really like these because they're a flexible shin pad. A lot of shin pads are like hard shell, which works well, but these are that same no shock. They're super flexible, but they're hard as a rock. Like I have never gotten pedal bite with these and they're really durable. These are five years old. You can tell, look out, look at all the, all the fuzz right here. But look at, there's like one little stitch and I slip pedals all the time. There's like one little stitch coming undone on this one. And I don't know where the other one is, but um, yeah, really durable material, 
really great pads. It took me a long time to move away from hard shell shin pads, but once I tried these, I trust it. I'll keep using it. Maybe I can talk Shred into keep, keep manufacturing this. I don't know. I forgot. Under everything, I have these Nike compression pants. Wear compression pants under your pads. It's really good. One, it stops your pads, helps stop your pads from sliding. Two, it absorbs a lot of sweat. So it like maintains sweat and keeps your legs pretty cool. And then you don't have sweat dripping down under your pads. So that's really nice. And then also it just stops from like irritation from your pads. And um, mine are super ripped up. So they're not doing anything compression wise. I just wear them because they're like tights and they keep me comfortable and dry. And yeah, um, they don't smell that great, but. All right, so that is the stuff that I wear on a normal daily basis. I wear all of that under my pants every single time that I ride. I do not ride without that stuff. Compression, ankle braces, hip pads, knee pads, and shin pads every single time that I ride. Now I wanna show you guys a couple specialty items that Shred makes that I will wear certain times, like, like when we're filming for the Taj right now, like I'm gonna wear like the back protection and the elbow pads, you know, to lay down some tricks. Contests will probably wear the elbow pads and stuff. So let me show you that real quick. This is the back protection from Shred. It's like a vest. It's actually brand new. I still got the tag on it. Just got it. And it's the same no shock material, but it goes on your whole back and it zips up in the front. So it's like a total, total vest. And it's super comfortable, really flexible, and this protects your tailbone, which is really nice. This is called the Flexi Back Protector Trail Vest. This will work for skiing and snowboarding as well. That's one thing that's really cool about Shred. They make a lot of ski and snowboard gear, and then a lot of gear that can kind of cross over. So if you're interested in back protection, definitely go with this one that is the vest because it zips up and it's really skin tight. It stays in place and you know, you don't get irritated because it's nice material right here. So that's the back protection. These are the Enduro knee pads. They're a lot lighter weight than the heavy duty ones. They're thinner, but they still have these side pads, which is nice. But you can notice here, they have a top Velcro, but not a bottom one. So if you need something thinner under your pants, these Enduro, they're exactly called the Flexi Knee Pads Enduro. These ones would be really good if you really want to wear some tight pants or you just want some really light trail or enduro pads. So these are great. All right, last but not least, we have the elbow pads. These are the shred, uh, probably the heavy duty. Yeah, the no shock heavy duty elbow pads. They're built just like the knee pads, except they do not have the side pad because you don't really need side pads. Same neoprene, they don't slide a lot. Nice snug fit, really durable build. This is what I'm gonna be wearing so I don't, you know, get new scrapes. This one just healed up. I got worked because I left these at home on accident. But yeah, guys, so that is all the stuff that I wear. Most of it is Shred. I do ride for Shred. I do have a discount code. If you go to their website and use the code Hilton30, you guys will get 30% off anything on the site that you wanna order. The Shock Doctor ankle braces, you guys can get from Dick's Sporting Goods or somewhere else but all the shred stuff is really great. It's durable. If I didn't ride for them, I would still be wearing it because it's, it stood the test of time and they're comfortable. Yeah, use the code Hilton30. I will get a little bit of a kickback from that. So that'll help out the channel if that helps you guys uh, buy anything. Hopefully it doesn't stop you from buying anything. <laughs> that was a weird laugh. <laughs> um, <laughs> There it is again. All right, whatever. Okay, I'm, I'm over it. Let's uh, let's be done. All right, those are the pads that I wear. If you want to know what mouth guard I wear, it's a Nano 3D. I'm not going to show it to you because it's gross. All right, hopefully you guys like the video. Hope you learned something. If you have any questions about any of these things, uh, let me know. I'll put the links in the description. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel, and we will see you in the next video.